Hi guys! Today we are in the town Tomar in Portugal. This town is the last Templar town to be commissioned for construction and was born inside the walls of the Convento de Cristo. My name is Tatiana Zappa. Let's go discover this town with me. In Portuguese, the name of the city sounds like Tomar. After the conquest of the region by the Moors during the Portuguese Reconquista, the land was transferred in 1159 as a fief to the Knights Templar. In 1160, Guadim Pais, Grand Master of the Knights Templar in the Portugal, laid the foundation stone for the Convento de Cristo or the Templar Monastery, which became the headquarters of the Knights Templar in Portugal, and laid the foundation for the new city of Tomar. The feudal treaty of the Templars with the people was created in 1163. According to him, the Templars ruled from Tomar, a vast region in central Portugal, and pledged to protect it from attacks and raids by the Moors. The monastery was built on a mountain and is protected from all sides by a high wall. The only access road has several gates at different levels. And in principle it immediately becomes clear that this is not a simple monastery, it is a well-guarded fort. A park is located on almost half of the fenced area, but it is currently in disrepair. The temple cross is found everywhere carved out of a stone on a fountain or forged on a fence. The monastery combines several architectural styles of Romanesque, Gothic, Manuelin and Renaissance. The main entrance of the monastery is made in the Manuelin style, Huge doors are surrounded by stone relief, painstaking and very high quality work that has remained from the 16th century. A visit to the monastery costs 6 euros. The monastery has several courtyards. One Gothic courtyard is the burial place of knights and in one of the tombs rests of the brother of the navigator Basco de Gama. The courtyard is called the cemetery. Another is intended for washing the clothes of monks and is called a laundry. The courtyard with a fountain in the middle in the shape of the Templar cross is considered one of the greatest examples of the Mannerin style of in Portuguese architecture and connects to the church. The monastery is known for its Romanesque round church, a Roman Catholic church, Charola, built in the second half of the 12th century. The general shape of the church repeats similar circular structures in Jerusalem, the Mosque of Amar and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The interior is decorated with sculptures and painting in the late Gothic and Manolian style, added during the restoration from 1399. In the 15th century, a rectangle nave was added to the round church. Outside, it is very richly decorated with gargoyles, statues and robes, and temple crosses. The chapter window on the western facade of the nave is decorated with octopus tentacles and vegetal elements, designed by architect Diego de Arruda. Auxiliary rooms of the monastery, a dining room, preserved dishes of monks, a huge kitchen with stove, a courtyard for monks to walk after meals. According to one of the legends of the city of Tomar, the Templar gold hidden in the premises of the monastery has not been found yet.
going down to the city, we see a wonderful autumn park next to the Nambu River. The river runs through the entire city, and in the past it was used by residents for various industries. Along the embankment, we do deep into the historic center of the city. We notice the typical Portuguese tiled facades of buildings, ceramic panels like paintings on the walls. We recognize the decor of the monastery and the Nabu River. In the old town there are a lot of small shops with the Templar's souvenirs. The city is proud of its past, and every year it hosts nightly fights and fairs, famous throughout Portugal.